Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. This is the world's address. We are playing Starbound, and we are hunting for sand. Now, uh. we are going to explore all of the planets here. If I can find a desert planet, that's going to be my, uh, my ideal. That's what I really need. What's that? Ooh, yeah, not going there. Okay, so. A dry grassland. That might have some sand. Yeah, let's go here. It's a moderate danger. Uh, looks like we're getting titanium, silver, neptunium, copper, gold, and tungsten. It's going to rain, and there are windstorms. But we can handle all of that with this handy-dandy brand-new weapon that we've got. That does super cool stuff. Alright, let's beam down. Let's see what's up. So we're going to find some sand, and we're going to... Just nail a lot of it. I don't remember what the planet was that I found sand on before. I went um, to a bunch of different ones, and I can't remember now. So that's my bad, honestly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, they got real, real quick, huh? Oh, it's a Fenerix. I believe is what they're called. Ah, found the sand. Awesome. First stop. Couldn't expect... Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a battery. Couldn't do any better. Sand in the first place we go to. And this is exactly what we needed. A beautiful sand cavern. And there's other stuff here that could be fun to check out while we're here. Just the speed at which I can do this right now is awesome. Cool. So when it said grassland, it also meant, like, a sandy plain. Okay, yeah, that ought to do it. The music changed. Usually when the music changes, that means something is coming. In this case, it looks like daytime's coming. I'm lagging pretty hard right now. Ah! Hey, I leveled up. Awesome. Yeah, this is all sand. This is the place. Oh, 
Oh. Handy. This is healing water. Just get rid of... I don't know, that. Yeah, that's healing water. Awesome. Just gonna do a little bit of exploring. Just just for a minute. Just kind of see what what's in all of these. Not bad. That architecture looks like, uh, looks avian. Let's open this up real quick. Titanium ore, grape juice, and a purple crayon. Yeah, alright. So this looks like avian architect... Avian architecture. I was right. It's definitely avian architecture. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna plop down a... I'm gonna go to the top of this. Typically, with these avian temples... You... Wow, man. You can find all kinds of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, for now, is I'm gonna place a flag... Ah. Bummer. I'm not going to place a flag on here. I'll go a little bit further out. Looks like this uh this being a fixed point, I can't place a flag on it. What is that? What is that guy? What is he? Avian Temple. He looks like a trip. Hey, it's a Fenerox. Also a Fenerox. Okay, neat. Alright. But, as neat as all of that is, beam back up to our ship. From our ship, we'll beam back to our base. But, I'm keeping this... Well, I don't have to keep the the ship orbiting here because I now have uh, a flag on it. Yeah, Avian Temple on this nice world. I like it. On this desert portion of that world. So that's all of the sand that I will ever need, ever, <clears throat> in this game. That translates to all of the glass that I will ever need, ever all of the silicone, all of the, you know, all of the any of the things. I've got all that I'm ever going to get. Oh, I can't take it. Shoot. Let's do this. Right, and we'll sort. And then we'll also start putting blocks in here. That's the sand I'll keep. And that's loose silt. Glass I'll keep. Moon Dust was doing helium. That's cool. 
nothing. Also, let's throw helium in there. Okay, that's better. Sand and moon dust. Oh, right. We've also gotten all that we're getting out of those. And we'll take the research as well. That came from corruption. So each... 50, uh, like, 50 pieces of sand makes one silicon. So, let's... We need two silicon per board. Assemble. Oh, snap! Didn't realize we could upgrade this, but yay. Oh, well, heck, let's go ahead and build this extraction lab instead of the hand mill. Oh, snap. Oh, no. I accidentally broke my own flooring there. So instead of that that will do this extraction lab, which does the same exact thing as the hand mill, from what it says. I think maybe it just does it faster. Maybe more efficiently. Who knows? But that's cool. Now I have a wooden centrifuge. Extraction involving liquids? Ooh. I've got a lot of liquids. I mean, liquid extraction could be super fun. I don't know. There we go. That should be enough now for the thing that I need. What was it again? The Electronics Center. What am I missing? Hmm. Well, let's put down... Oh. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I shot that a little bit. Uh, oil? We'll figure all that out here in a bit. So. Electronic center. So my plan for this... My plan for this lab has changed. It's cooled volcanic rock. I'm going to get rid of all of this, and the easiest way to do that is legitimately just coming up here and going. Like this. Uh, he also said something about keeping my animals happier, making them happier, because they don't look happy at all, to be honest with you.
we'll figure something out. So let's put down this electronics table while we're here. Just for now. There. There we go. Now I can do a sifter. This advanced sifter efficiently extracts materials from loose or powdery minerals. And then I'm going to have to start... Um, oh, iron centrifuge. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, we're going to have to start building power supplies to supply various things from the electronics center. I believe. But let's find out. Okay. I have a greenhouse... We'll do that in a minute. Oh, and this gets you to a mech. Interesting. Okay, well. Hmm, no. I need quests. I might... Mm, I know I've put some work into this place. But it might be better... Hmm. It might be better to... Pick a new area. You know? And build something from scratch. I don't know. I'm I'm of two minds on this. Like this was a great little starting house that I built off of to make some stuff, but Fracken Universe it just okay, well let's let's start from the beginning. The regular game has so many things that you almost need to build like a split tier warehouse kind of thing and you uh, want to put stuff where it all makes sense. Fracken Universe adds to that. Like if you look in here, uh, extraction lab, hand mill, centrifuge, apiary, crafting station for bees, tinkering table, um, you know, mining bench, um, I can make manipulator modules? That's kind of awesome. What does it take to make laser giants? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Yes. Yes, please. What? I have 19 of them now. I don't really care about painting. So, I'm going to have to care about painting upgrade to get to the wire mode. There we go. So now I've fully unlocked all of the modes of the matter manipulator. I'm going to need wire mode to wire certain things together, I think. That's... that's the way that it's looking. Um, range by two tiles. Yes, please. And I need 24 modules. Uh, so give me a, give me just a second, guys, because I would very much like to be able to mine in a square that is as big as me. So that would help out a lot. Not only would it help out with um, just exploration, but it's going to help out with building too. Ooh, and now we're out of research. 
bum, bum, bum. Acquire resistance. Hmm. Um. Acquire growing tray. Growing tray, growing tray, sprouting table? No. Oh, I, I would imagine that you get the sprouting table from the growing tray, or the, the, the growing tray from the sprouting table, so. Fired clay. So, let's see if I have any clay. Let's see if I've got any clay. Um, clay doesn't look like that. Clay looks like this. Awesome. What is a sniper knife? Shoots knives. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? Surprisingly effective. Where are they coming from? That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That's that's great. Okay. All right, let's make some clay. I can't see any reason why I wouldn't just make all of it. Let's be honest with ourselves here. I'm never going to use regular clay for anything. Oh, uh, hey, hey, buddy. You're out of your area. Hmm. So, build one of these, oh, build one of these at the forging table. Pay attention to what things say, and you'll figure it all out. Duh. Um, I need a forging table. Because I hadn't built one. I don't typically build a, a forging table, and that is, that's definitely a, a bad idea, because you can do some cool stuff. Gonna have to make the getting down here easier as well. Okay, that's done. Using the sprouting table. So you've built a sprouting table. Why are you looking so clueless? It's simple. Toss in a potato seed and wait about 60 seconds. You'll get a useful gene type for your botany research or other goods. Okay, so. Uh, sprouting table. Right. Now, potato seed. Po potato seed. Potato seed. I'll find one. I'll find one. Here's hoping I've got one up here. Nope. 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 Yes. Huzzah. Down we go. Now. Potato seed. Then we just, we wait, what? It said 30, we wait 30 seconds. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to find a different place. 
I know I put a lot of work into this, but I'm not, I'm, I don't know, I'm not happy with it as much as I would like to be. So... I want to find a planet that's got uh, the right number of, the right kinds of, ooh, look at that. Resistance. Okay, cool. Well, here, let's put in, um, I got some other seeds. This seed, that seed, this one. Let's see what happens there. Who knows? I sure don't. Now, gonna have to start making some generators. If I can make an advanced circuit, I can step right past money transference device. That's interesting. So. If I could make... I guess not. What's a watcher do? Oh, used to keep wired station within 20 tiles running while away from home shuts off when you leave the planet. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, as a light source, that's actually kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Single slot storage. Man, I'm gonna have a lot to learn to do all of this fun stuff, like grabbers. Yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot for me to figure out in here. Solar panels would probably be the way to go. But maybe, hmm. I think solar, pla solar panels are only the way to go if you can... Um, If you've got a capacitor. Like, is you have to store the, the stuff there somehow. Batteries. Ah, well, there we go. A battery unit. Power storage unit stores up to a thousand joules, I would imagine, of power and dispenses four watts when connected. Okay, cool. All right, that... Um, I realize that that was not the most entertaining of anything at all, but that was very, very uh, helpful for me. The mod, like, Fracking Universe has so much going on that you can do. And I just don't think... I'm not in love with this setup that I've got going. So... I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do it off-camera. I'm going to build something really cool off-camera. And um, I'm going to find a really good planet... It's got everything that I want it to have, and I'll do that. So now we'll need a tinker table, I imagine. We'll need a centrifuge, I'm sure. And a power source. Okay. So let's make a tinker table real quick. We'll just make all of the things real quick like, and then I'll start placing things in other places. I realize that none of that was incredibly specific, Tinker table, thank you. Um, alternator generator. Oh, that's down here. I'll just make one of these real quick. Thanks. Did I not hit the button? There we go. Cool. And uh, what was the other one? Build a wooden centrifuge, which I've done. What is that? Uh, um, sorry, something... Hold on, I need to come outside for a second. 
What is this? Look at this! I didn't know I could do that! That must be new! I must have reached a level. Hang on. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The heck is that book? You need to go here. Did I get a new skill? Some sort of an ability? Oh yeah, I unlocked this. I forgot. Cool. Also, what level am I? Eight. And I've got a stat point. So let's put that in... What's Vigor do? Max energy. Yeah, gonna have to have some vigor here and there. Cool. Now I have this float. I forgot about this. Look at how far I can go. This is bananas. That's super cool. That is super cool. Alright. Alright guys, so I think we've learned a lot. We've figured out some stuff. We are... Oh, wooden centrifuge. I've already done that one. Hang on, let me... I got conf I got uh, stuck on something. Alright. Hooray. Tutorial. Select. Yeah, this is awesome. So, feeling thirsty. Foraging table. A well. Oh, you can just make a well? Dude. Okay. I'm getting really into this. But what I'm going to do is very quickly scrap this area. And Well, you know what? First of all, let's go find a good planet. We're going to find a really good planet. And then I'm going to scrap my base and build it anew on another place. Somewhere that's going to have enough... I, I, I need something um, that's going to have enough space for everything. That's, that's really the problem that you run into in this game. Is you run out of space like crazy. It gets just... It gets, it's just bananas. I mean, really. I don't want gentle stars. Though, there's one that would have been really nice to have. Primeval forest. Huh. Let's go here. I, I dropped a, a flag so that I can go and, and get all of that stuff from the avians. But let's go here. How much fuel do I have left? Oh man, like a lot. It makes it look like I don't have much. And though, I guess out of 10,000, I don't. But, I really kind of do. What's this? Titanium bar. Ship fuel. Anything that says ship fuel, I'm throwing in here. That? That's commonly found on moons. Hopefully there'll be some good moons here and I can get some more telebrium. To... Yes, telebrium. All right. Not that one. Let's go here. It's closer. Once we get a mech, we can go into these asteroid fields and... Oh, I didn't even see that. That, that stuff right there. Alright, what do we got? Uh, scorched Wasteland. No, thank you. 
Um, leafy trees on this flo forest planet. No. No, thank you. A poisonous atmosphere. No, thank you. Let's go here now. Neronia 4. 2. So this was that one. Alright. Car covered world with a breathable atmosphere. Floating dis Ooh. That could be cool. Neptunium, silver. And then this is a moon. Yeah, with, with Telebrium on it. That's an idea. That floating thing, I could build something really cool on that. Is that a planet, too? Oh, man, that's super tiny. Look at that. That tiny little thing down there. All right, we're going to find a really good planet to build something on. Unknown. Holy crap. No, thank you. <laughs> Unknown readings are confusing our scanners. I can glean nothing useful from them. Potentially lethal. Rocky moons. <clears throat> Hot one. I, okay, I'm so, con I'm curious. Dying doesn't really do much anything in this game outside of losing some, I lose some money. Uh, sort of whoop de doo right? Oh, this is going to be potentially lethal. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's going to be bad. I'm, I'm making a huge mistake. And I know it. Let's go. Who cares? Uh. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> oh, load faster, come on. Warning, tropical heat. The climate here is exceptionally warm, which could lead to discomfort if care is not taken. Water will help you cool off if you can find it. Physical resistance will help, too. Kind of a... It's interesting. Oh, that's that's fire. That's that's fire. That's just straight lava rock. Yeah, dude, that's mud and volcanic rock. Oh, but I can start making hellfire stone and bricks. Yes, please. Okay. What is it raining though? I feel like it's raining blood, y'all. Like, I, f I, f I feel very strongly that it is raining blood. Ooh. Is it raining f friggin' fire? Warning. Desert heat. Water will help you. It's exceptionally warm. Ah, ah, beans. Okay, so this is going to be one of those um, planets where when the sun comes out, you need to find a place to be. The sun is rising, bringing another super hot day. I want to get that stuff that he dropped because those, uh, those are modules that I can put into my breathing doodad. Also, check it. Oh, snap. Pearl fruit. Whoa, whoa. It is lightning storming. Oh, s s crap. Ah, ah, ah. Friend or foe? Foe. Shoot. 
Okay. Well, I think two deaths is enough. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, that's not the planet. <laughs> that's not the planet. I'm going to find something. I'm going to find a cool planet. Um, I'm probably going to go through a lot of the bookmarks that I already have, to be honest with you, and see if one of those... Because I got a lot, like... Well, there's there's this one in the Boneyard, which I think could make a really cool base. Uh, there's this place outside of the Avian Temple. I just can't do anything with the Avian Temple, which would be super awesome. But, um, that is going to do it for this episode. Next episode, I will have a brand new base. Um, we'll do a very small amount of exploring that, and then we'll get to work on some of the some more of the quests through Fracken Universe. I think we're just going to keep exploring Fracken Universe and exploring cool planets and doing stuff like that. And just having fun, really. That's my that's my plan. I'm I'm not playing this game with any real intent outside of I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying it. It's a great game. And show you guys as much as I can. So, uh yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to drop in and see what I'm up to. It really does mean a lot to me, guys. I appreciate it so, so very much. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.